Hi everyone, hope you all are good. So we're going to start with grade seven maths. So you can find all the lessons on aplusstudents.com. You have to log in there using your email address and password is provided by the administrator. Then you have to select math from the subject tab. Scroll down to grade seven maths. Click on view all lessons. And here is the list of the lessons we are going to cover today. We are going to start with the chapter expressions and the properties. The lesson we are going to cover today are identify equivalent linear expressions final test of the chapter then we'll start the new chapter that is consumer math the lesson we are is add subtract multiply and divide money amounts word problems and then the price list so before starting the session please make sure you have your notebook and pencil so that you can note down the important examples and definitions as well got it let's start with the first lesson that is identify equivalent linear expressions let me write down the lesson name then we'll start identify equivalent linear expressions okay so uh, select the math from the subject tab click on the continue button scroll down to grade 7 maths click on view all lessons and we're working on the chapter um, uh, expressions and properties here is the chapter click on the continue button And the lesson we are going to start is add and subtract, no, identify equivalent linear expressions. Here is the lesson. Let's start with the lesson. Okay, let's just click on the test button. Okay. Which expression is equivalent to 4K plus 5K? So 4K plus 5K, you have the same variable. Got it? When you have the same variable you have to basically they are the like terms like terms means they have same variable you can collect the like variables just add 5 and 4 so 5 plus 4 makes 9k got it so the expression equals the first option that would be the 9k got it just select the correct option and click on the ok button is equivalent to two two times w plus seven hi taiwo okay you have to do two times w plus seven anything that is written outside the bracket that means and you have to do not have any sign between them that means you have to multiply the number outside with everything that is inside the bracket got it you have to do two times w it would be two w then you have to do two times seven so two times seven is 14 so it equals two w plus 14 got it so guys it is 2w plus 14 okay the next one is which expression is equivalent to 3 to 3 times 9p 3 is you have to multiply the number 3 that is outside the bracket with the things that are inside the bracket so it would be 3 times 9 is 3 times 9 is 27 got it so it would be 27 p just select the correct option then click on the ok button 
okay the next one is 9y plus 6y which expression is equivalent to 9y plus 6y you have to 9y and 6y are the like terms got it you just have to collect the like terms like terms means you have to add so it would be 9 plus 6 is 9 plus 6 is 15 so the correct option is 15y isn't it no one is answering why if you have any problem please write the question in the chat box otherwise please participate you have to answer all the questions very good Taiwo. it is 15y <clears throat> which expression is equivalent to 5 times 2x so which is the correct option the first one or the second one you have to multiply the number 5 that is outside the bracket with the number that is inside the bracket so 5 times 2 is very good that would be the 10x got it just select the correct option then click on the ok button ok which expression is equivalent to 8 into n plus 5 so which option is the correct one the first one or the second one which option is the correct one the first one or the second one it is 8 times n plus 5 that means you have to multiply the number n by everything that is inside the bracket got it no not 40n you you cannot add 5 and 40 you have to multiply 8 to n and then 8 to 5 because n and a 5 are not like terms got it they are the different one 5 so you have to 8 times n is 8n and 8 times 5 is 40 got it taiwo you cannot add n and 5 it is not 5n you don't have n with the with the 5 so you cannot add n and 5 are the two different things got it it would be 8n plus 40 got it now so the correct option is 8n plus 40 got it okay which expression is equivalent to 5 times 4u okay it would be 5 and 4u they are just multiplying got it you have to multiply 5 to 4 so it would be, it would be 20u but n plus 5 and this is a different thing got it n plus 5 means you are adding n and 5 they are the two different terms if it is n plus 5n then they are the same you can add them because both have the same variable n but 5 don't have the variable n so it is the different but this case you have 4 and u 4 is multiplying to u and then 5 times 4 is it would be 20 u got it please write a yes or no it would be 20 u just select the correct option then click on the ok button ok which expression is equivalent to 6j plus 2j they are the like terms because both because both of them have the same variable j you can add them you have to add them 6j plus 2j they are the equivalent terms because they have the same variable j so you can add their coefficient 6 plus 2 is 8j got it so just select the correct option then click on the 8j is the correct option just select the correct option then click on the ok button ok which expression is equivalent to 4 times z plus 5 so you have to do <clears throat> 4 times z plus 5 So you have to multiply the number 4 that is outside the bracket with everything that is inside the bracket. Got it? So you have to do 4 times z. That would be 4z. And 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So it would be 4z plus 20. Got it? Just select the correct option and click on the OK button. That would be 4z plus 20.
okay the next one is 6 into 2r that means 6 is multiplying to the 2r got it you have to do 6 times 2 6 times 2 is 12r got it so the correct option is 12r okay you can complete the test by yourself later today let me just move on to the next lesson the next lesson is the final test of the chap the same chapter expressions and properties let's just start with the final test taibo please write the variables with it is 12r you have to write the r also with it so it would be the final test of the chapter let me write down the lesson name then we'll start Okay, let me read the first question. Annie has B books. Martha has 39 more books than Annie. Which expression that shows how many books Martha has? So which option is the correct one? The first, second, third or fourth? Annie has B, but Martha has 39 more books than Annie. So you have to choose the expression that shows how many books Martha has. Which option is the correct one? Thirty-nine more than any. Got it? That means the any has the B books. You don't know what number B is. Just B. So Martha has thirty-nine more. So that means it would be the B plus thirty-nine. Got it? Martha has B plus thirty-nine books. Any has B books. Martha has. 39 more books than Martha. So it would be then, uh, sorry, Martha has 39 more books than Annie. So Annie has B and 39 more means B plus 39. That would be the books the Martha has. Got it? It would be B plus 39. Very good, everyone. Just select the correct option, then click on the OK button. Okay, the next one is evaluate the expression for s equals 15, s minus 14. Just replace the s with the value, got it? It is, you have to evaluate s minus 14 for s equals 15. Just replace s with the value, s has a value 15, got it? So replace the s with the value, it would be 15 minus 14 and 15 minus 14 equals 1. Got it, everyone? So the correct option is one. Just select the correct option, then click on the <clears throat> OK button. OK, evaluate the expression for Q equals 1, 12 Q square. You have to evaluate it for Q equals 1. Just replace the Q with the value. Got it? Q has the value 1. So it would be 1 square. 1 square means you have to do 1 times 1. Got it? 1 times 1 is 1 and 12 times 1 is 12. Very good. Yes, the answer is 12. Got it? So it would be the 12. Just select the correct option and click on the OK button. OK, the next one is 4n plus n. So which is the correct option? Taiwo, you are too confused between the variables and the things. They are like expressions. 4n and plus n, they are the like terms because they have the same variables and you can add their coefficients. n don't have any coefficient, that means it has the coefficient 1. Just add 4 and 1, so together it makes 5n. Okay, good. It would be then 5n. Just select the correct option and click on the OK button. Okay, simplify the expression 7g plus 6g minus 6g. So which is which is the correct option? Six G and minus six minus six G six G minus six G is zero and seven G plus zero is very good. It would be the seven G. Just select the correct option and then click on the OK button. 
very good okay is 5 a factor of 45 r plus 40 yes or no 45 r plus 40 basically you have you need to see if it can divide both the coefficients just divide both the coefficients by sorry 5 not 9 yes the answer is yes because you have a 45 5 times 9 is 45 and 5 times 8 is 40 both the numbers are divisible by 5 the answer is yes very good so just select the correct option and click on the OK button. OK, the next one is what value of R makes the addition sentence true? 64 plus 6, 84 plus 65 equals 65 plus R, which is the correct option, 48 or 84? Which option is the correct one? The correct option is 84. Just look at the side where you are given both the numbers. 84 plus 65, got it? So both of the sides are equal. That means on the other side you are given with 65, but you are not given with 84. So the missing number is 84. Very good. Just select the correct option and click on the OK button. Okay, simplify the expression 10w minus 9w. So you have to subtract them. 8 subtract 9 is very good. It is just a w. I thought you can write 1w or w. That would be the same. Got it? So just select the correct option, then click on the OK button. OK, evaluate the expression for B equals 1. So which option is the correct one? 1 squared is also 1. So 18 times 1 is 18. Got it? Yes, very good. The correct option is 18. Just select the correct option, then click on the OK button. Okay, write an expression for the operation described below. Add 2 and W. So which is the correct option? The first one or the second one? What happened, Taiwo? So add 2 and W. So it would be 2 plus W. Got it? Very good. Just select the correct option then click on the OK button. Okay, which property of addition is shown? Associative or commutative? Which property is it? Which property it is? Associative or commutative? It is the associative property. Whenever three of the numbers are involved, that means it is the associative property. Got it? Very good. That is the associative property. So just select the correct option, then click on the OK button. OK, simplify the expression. Which option is the correct one, the first one or the second one? You have to multiply the two. You have to multiply two with the numbers that are inside the bracket. So it would be two times three is six and two times 10 is 20. Yes, very good. The first option is the correct one. Two times three is six and two times 10 is 20. That would be six plus 20 H. Very good. Just select the correct option then click on the OK button. OK, is 10 a factor of 30 X plus 40? Yes or no? Yes. 
yes, it is very good because both the numbers 30 and 40 are divisible by 10. Got it? So the answer is yes. Okay, the next one is simplify the expression. 10c plus 8c minus 9c. So which option is the correct one? Ten plus eight is eighteen, and eighteen minus nine is nine. Got it. So the correct option is nine C. Very good. Okay, G equals negative five. So which option is the correct one? Is it negative three or seven? That would be the absolute value. G, the, the uh, variable G is written G and the lines outside the G means it is the uh, absolute value. We have already done with the absolute values. Absolute values means the numbers are always the positive. So it would make negative five a positive five, but you have a negative sign outside the, so it would be two minus five is negative three. Very good. Just select the correct option, then click on the, Okay, but then, okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. Let me just move on to the next topic. Uh, we have to start with a new chapter. That is, the new chapter is the new chapter is we're going to start is consumer math. Let's start with the new chapter. And the new, the lesson name is subtract multiply and divide money amounts word problems let's start with the first topic let me write down the lesson name on the board it would be add subtract multiply and divide money amounts or word problems Let's start with the first topic that is add, subtract, multiply, and divide money amounts. Word problems. Got it? Okay, let's just start with the test questions. Okay, please listen to me carefully. I'm going to read the questions. Okay, regular tickets for Monville High School football game cost $5.44, but the student get $5.04 off. But is the price of the student ticket? Got it? So the ticket cost 5.44, but the student get the off that is 5.04. So you have to calculate the price of the ticket, student ticket, got it? Just subtract 5.04 out of 5.44, got it? You will get the, yes, very good. That would be 5.44 subtract 5.04. Four subtract four is zero. Four subtract zero is four. Five subtract five, that means the Student ticket cost 0 0.40. Got it? Just select the correct option, then click on the OK button. OK, Kim spent $630 on seven, seven coat racks. The coat racks all cost the same amount. What is the cost of the each coat rack? So what do you have to do? Multiply or divide? You have to divide because 630 is the cost of the seven silver coat racks. You have to find the cost of the one rack. Got it? Each rack. You have to divide 630 by seven. Got it? Just divide 630 by. Whenever you are given, yes, very good. It would be $90. Whenever you are given with a cost of more than one thing and you have to find the cost of one thing, divide the given value by the number of the uh, items given. Got it? It would be seven times nine is 63 and seven times zero is zero. Got it? So it would be $90, very good. <clears throat> Just select the correct option and click on the 
<coughs> okay button okay eve eve by seven red beads for 0 0.28 dollars the bead all have the same prices what is the price of each bead that is actually you have to calculate the value of the unit price got it whenever you have to calculate the price for one thing that means you are calculating the unit prices they are the unit prices actually got it so what you have to do you have to divide 0 0.28 by 7 got it and that would be 0 0.04 very good it would be 0 0.04 select the correct option then click on the ok button Okay, at the hardware store, a carpenter spent $100 on wood and $100 on tools. How much did he spend in all? So the total amount is, you have to add them. You have to calculate the total amount. It would be $200. Just select the correct option and click on the OK button. OK, <clears throat> television cost $100 each. Danny buys eight televisions. How sorry, Danny buys 10 televisions. How much does Danny spend? So which is the correct option? The cost of the one television is 100. You have to buy the 10 televisions. What you have to do? Very good, that would be the $1,000, but how? Whenever you have to calculate the price of more than one thing, and you are given with the price of one thing, you have to multiply the price of one thing with the numbers of the items you have to buy, got it? You have to do basically the 100 times 10, so that would be 1,000. <clears> Very good. Just select the correct option, then click on the OK button. Okay, a football, a footstool cost $46. If kick buy three footstools, how much will it cost? So which is the correct option? You are given with the cost of one footstool. You have to buy the three. You have to uh, calculate the value of the three footstools. You have to. Very good. You have to multiply 46 times three. So 46 times three is. Very good, it would be $138, got it? So just select the correct option and then click on the OK button. OK, Sarah's soccer team did two fundraisers last year. They raised 934 selling candy and $438 washing cars. How much did the team raise in? all so you have to calculate the total amount they raised got it <clears throat> so you have to <clears throat> you have to add them to calculate your total amount just add 934 and 341 so it would be 9 and 110 sorry 4 and 1 5 3 and 3 6 and 9 and 4 13 it would be 1365 got it so just select the correct option and click on the OK button. OK, Eva even spent $300 to buy three model railroad sets. The sets all had the same prices. How much did each set cost? So again, you have to calculate the value of the unit. One thing, got it? So whenever you have to calculate the value of the one thing, you have to divide the given price with the number of the items. Got it? You have to divide 100 by 3 and that would be $100. Very good. It would be $100. Got it? Okay, the next one is 
the local firehouse held a chili cook off to raise money of the charity. The fireman raised a total of six hundred seventy four dollars, but six hundred sixty six six hundred sixty seven was spent to run the event. How much is left over for charity? Very good. You have to subtract. Just subtract six sixty seven out of the six seventy four. So it would be six seven dollars. Got it? So just select the correct option and click on the. Okay button. Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. Let me just move on to the next topic. That would be the price lists. Let's just start with a new topic. That is the price list. Okay, let's just start with the test. Okay, how much more money does a set of dishes cost than a baking dish? Mm, the baking dish cost fifteen point twenty six, and the set of dishes cost ninety eight point thirty seven. You have to calculate how much more the set of dishes cost than baking dish. So subtract the baking dish, the value of the baking dish, out of the set of dishes. Got it? You have to do ninety eight point thirty seven subtract fifteen point. Ninety eight point thirty seven subtract fifteen point twenty six. It would be seven subtract six is one, three subtract two is one, eight subtract five is three, and nine subtract one is eight. It would be eighty three point one one. Very good. So just select the correct option and click on the OK button. Very good. How much money does Jaden need to buy an autoclave and scale and a scale? So you have to calculate the amount he needed to buy the autoclave and scale. Just add the amounts of for the needed for autoclave and scale. So you have to add five hundred sixty-eight dollars plus one one thirteen. Five hundred sixty-eight dollars. Plus one one thirteen, one one three. It would be eight nine ten eleven one and one carry, six and one seven and one eight and five and one six. So it would be six hundred and eighty one dollars he needed to buy autoclave and a scale. Got it? Six eighty one, not seven eighty one. It would be six hundred eighty-one, not seven hundred eighty-one. It's okay. Okay, the next one is Billy has nine ninety-four dollars. Did he have enough to buy a ballot ticket and a concert ticket? The ballot ticket is twenty-five dollars, and the concert ticket is seventy-five dollars. So ninety seventy-five plus twenty-five is. It's okay. Okay, seventy-five plus twenty-five is hundred dollars. So is ninety-four dollars enough to buy the tickets? No, because seventy-five plus twenty-five is one hundred. Just add the ballot ticket is twenty-five, and the concert ticket is seventy-five. Just add up the tickets prices. It would be hundred, but he has ninety-four. So hundred isn't ninety-four isn't enough to buy the hundred dollars things. Got it? The answer is no. Okay, how much money does Emma need to buy a red sweater and a pink sweater? The red sweater costs thirteen point seventy four, and the pink sweater costs sixteen point sixty one. So you have to add all add both the values thirteen point seventy four plus sixteen point sixty one. Sixteen point sixty one sixteen point sixty one. Okay, just add them. So four plus one is. Five seven plus six is thirteen. Three one carry six and one seven eight nine ten zero one carry. 
it would be 3. So that means the total amount she needed is $30.35. Got it? Just select the correct option and click on the <clears throat> OK button. That's not 25. 30.35 it is. OK. The next one is Luke has $344. Does he have enough to buy a set of bunk beds and kitchen table? Bunk bed cost $195 and the kitchen table cost $146. So $195 plus $146 is $195 plus $146 is $5 and $6, $11 and $1 carry, $9 and $1, $10 and $4, $14 and one carry and it would be 341. Yes, he, he has the exact amount $341. Yes, he can buy. The answer is yes. Got it? Okay, the next one is how much more does a beach postcard cost in a whale keychain? Beach postcard is 0 0.77 and the whale keychain is 0 0.26. How much more it is? Which option is the correct one? Subtract the whale keychain amount out of the beach postcard 0 0.77 subtract 0 0.26 so which option is the correct one it would be 0 0.51 got it so just select the correct option then click on the ok button How much more does a cello cost than a saxophone? So which option is the correct one? You have to subtract 821 out of 930. Got it? So it would be 821. Just subtract 821 out of 930. So the correct option is One hundred and nine. Very good. Just select the correct option and click on the. OK button. Lisa has one hundred fifty dollars, one point fifty dollars. Does she have enough money to buy a Kezo and a gift bag? Yes, she has the exact amount. Got it? You add up 0 0.59 and 0 0.91 and together they make 1.50. Got it? So yes, she has an exact amount. The answer is yes. Got it? Okay, how much more does a piece of floral stationery cost than a piece of strip paper? The piece of floral stationery cost 0 0.59 and the piece of strip paper cost 0 0.33. So how much more it is? Just subtract 0 0.33 out of 0 0.59. Got it? So the correct option is 0 0.26. Just select the correct option then click on the OK button. How much more, do need, more money does Mary need to buy a race car and a hydrofoil? Just add the price of the racer car, race car and hydrofoil. 
9,532 plus. It would be 9,000. The price of the hydro uh, race car is 8,838. So it would be 8 and 2, 10, 0 and 1 carry. It would be 7, 8 and 5, 13, 3 and 1 carry. 10 and 8, 18, it would be $18,370 needed to buy the uh, race car and the hydrofoil. Got it? $18,370, that is the correct option. Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. <clears throat> so we have covered four of the topics today. They are identify equivalent linear expressions. The final test of the chapter expressions and properties. Then we started the new chapter that is consumer math. The lessons we did from the chapter consumer math are add, subtract and multiply money amount word problem and then the price list. Got it? Please make sure before the next session you have to complete the test questions for the topics we did today. So thank you for your participation. Your participation is highly appreciated. So if you find if you need more help with any of the topic, you can contact any tutor on the Skype. They are available from Monday to Friday, 5 to 9. Got it? So that's all for today. If you find the session helpful for you, please click on the like button right below the video. That's all for today. See you in the next session. Bye, everyone.